In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce product list view in WordPress in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download the WooCommerce product table plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. So here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So the second step is to go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you've just downloaded. So just navigate to plugins, add new, and go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Then you want to navigate to WooSuite and then go ahead and navigate to product table, assuming you've activated a product table module. Okay, so to create our list view, we're going to create a new product table. So I've already created a few, but for this video, I'm going to create a new one. So we just go ahead and click add new table. Okay, so now we're just going to configure our product table. So we just give this product table a title and it's just for internal purposes. So we know exactly what this particular table is for. So I'm going to call this one um, list view. Okay, and then here where it says quick order form page, we'll leave this blank. You can automatically insert this table into a particular page, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it set to none. Okay, and then under form information, here where it says current columns, so currently it's blank, and we just wanna go ahead and add um, a few columns to our product table. So we wanna add the product name, maybe we'll add the product image, um, the product short description, stock status whether it's in stock or out of stock let's go ahead and add a add to cart button as well don't forget the price okay so i'm just going to rearrange the price by dragging and dropping it okay so i'm happy with that when we scroll down to image size we can go ahead and customize the image size so we've got width first and then the height so and this is in pixel as well so image light box i'm going to leave this as default a lot of these options i'm just going to skip over them for now um add to cart icon rename the add to cart button Gonna leave those as blank. And then where it says bulk add to cart, we can select buttons only or checkbox only or buttons and checkbox. I'm gonna leave mine as buttons only for now. And then for the add to cart behavior, I'm gonna enable um, Ajax add to cart. And then for the quantities, I'm gonna enable this as well. For our variation settings, I'm going to um, set this as a drop down on our product table. So we've also got the option to link to the product page. So the user will have to navigate to the product page to make their selection, or we can set it to drop down, or we can show each variation on a separate row. Alternatively, if you've got our quick view plugin enabled, it's free. You can go ahead and select the quick view option here. So the user will be able to click the quick view button and select everything within that quick view. Okay, I'm gonna leave these as blank. So it says form control. I'm gonna navigate to where it says product condition. So this is important depending on what you want to achieve. So currently by default, the product table will display all products within our store. But if you wanted, you can go ahead and add certain filters here. So maybe you only want to display certain products and then you might want to go ahead and add the products here. Or you might want to add products from a particular product category. Then we'll select categories here and then just go ahead and select your category. So you can also filter the product by tags, um, a particular attribute or custom taxonomy. You can filter it by products that the users recently purchased. You can filter it by the stock status and we'll be adding more um, options here as well as time go on. You can use it in conjunction. For example, you could say display products within the air purifying category and the stock status is in stock, right? So we can select in stock or we can select out of stock on back order. So this rule would read, only show products within our air purifying category and the stock status needs to be in stock. So this is perfect if you don't wanna show any products which are currently out of stock. You can go ahead and create complex filtering here. So I'm just gonna delete these because I wanna show all the products within our store. Okay, and then here where it says product filter, by default it's set to disable. We can go ahead and add the filters automatically based on the different columns in which we've got, or we can go ahead and customize the product filtering. If you click this option here, you'll get a list of all the options available to you. What, for example, a few common ones are, we can add categories, we can add um, tags, and we can add um, attributes. Right, and then we can also add um, sale. 
or many different combinations. So for now, I'm just going to leave this as it is. So we've added categories, tags, attributes, and also sale, meaning the users will be able to filter products which are on sale. Okay. And then we've also got an option to hide with products without a featured image. I'm going to leave a lot of these options as default for now. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through to where it says form design. Here we can disable our table heading. We can enable custom design, custom CSS. And if you've got more than a thousand products, then you might want to consider enabling laser load or enable the caching as well. So now I'm just going to save changes. Okay, let's navigate back to our general settings page. And here's our table in which we just created list view. I'm going to set this table as the default shop page. We can also set it to the default category and tag page as well. So I'm just going to set mine as the default shop page for now. Let's go ahead and hit save changes. Okay. And now let's have a look at our store page. And here you can see all our products are displaying within this list view here. So we can quickly add the products to cart and then go ahead and check out. Let's see if we've got any variable options. Okay. So we've got a variable product here and we can quickly select the options here and add to cart. So it's showing the swatches because we actually, we've got our variation swatches plugin installed as well. Otherwise it would show as a drop down for you unless you're using our variation swatches plugin. Okay. So that's that. We've also got a product filter in here so we can filter by categories. It's filtering the products instantly. So it's a much more user friendly experience. Okay. We can select the colors as well. Okay. We can also filter products which are currently on sale as well by ticking this option. Okay. So what if you wanted to um, display this list view product on a particular page. Let's say you didn't want to show it on your shop page. Then I'll show you exactly how you can do that. It's really simple. We just head back over to our dashboard. This is a table in which we just created. So we'll just copy this short code here and then we'll just create a new page or add this short code to any particular page and it will display all the products there as well. And if you remember as well, I showed you exactly how you can filter the products, which will appear on the product table. So you can do that also as well. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly add a new page and then I'm going to add our short code to that page. So to add a new page, you can click this plus button here, which says new add in page, or you can navigate to pages and then just click add new. Okay. So we're just going to name our page. I'm just going to call mine new page. And then I'm just going to paste our short code here as well. Okay. So we just hit publish and then view page, and we should be able to see our list view on this page. So it's working perfectly as it should do. If we wanted as well, we can customize the design, but I think that's for another video. Um, I've, we've got many video on the channel showing exactly how you can use this particular plugin. One last point worth mentioning is if we head back over to our dashboard. Okay. And then let's go ahead and edit this list view product table. Okay. And then let's navigate to where it says form information. Let's say for example, if you had um, some custom fields or maybe a custom taxonomy on your site and you want to display that within the table. So you'd select this custom data here and then click the pencil icon. Okay. And then for the data source. So again, if it's a custom field, you'll go ahead and add the meta key here. And if it's a custom taxonomy, then you go ahead and select that here and select the custom taxonomy. So typically we'll see users using a particular brand plugin so they can display the brand of the, of the product. And that usually creates a custom taxonomy. So they'll select custom taxonomy here and then they'll see the brand taxonomy here. Okay. So we'll just X this off and then we'll go ahead and X this off also. If you wanted to rename the column, you just go ahead and click on the pencil icon and then you can rename it here. So I can name this products. Okay. You can also customize the width of the column and you can add a particular class to the column as well. So you can do more advanced styling. So let's go ahead and hit update. Okay. That's save fine. So we can X this off and then we can go ahead and save changes. Okay. So now let's have a look at our product table again. This particular column was called the name and now we've renamed it to column and it's working exactly as it should. And that's how you create a product list view within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.